to do the San Remo Song Festival. And I'm going around the other way via Los Angeles, and I'm going to meet up with him in Sydney. And um, he's doing a video. And I say to one of the people in my office, I said, I want you to get out of the video shoot because I'm pretty sure he needs a new passport. And uh, if he does, get him to fill in this form and sign it. Get the skills photographer to do a couple of pictures. Go to the embassy, get a new passport. Go to the Australian embassy, get the visa. Go to the Japanese embassy, get the visa. Then come back. So this guy works for me, goes off, and sure enough, Brian needs a new passport. So he goes off and he gets him the new passport. And he comes into the office and he's going to San Remo with him and I'm sitting there. We're going through uh, Brian's interview schedule and the phone rings. And Brian's then wife, Lucy, comes on the phone. And she says, oh, this is Lucy Ferry. We've got a big problem. Now I've been managing for Brian at about five years at this point and nothing surprised me about it. I mean nothing. I never ever discovered what he put on his hair. But other than that, nothing surprised me. <laughs> and I said to her, what's the matter? And she said, Brian's destroyed his passport. I said, well, that's all right, he's got a new one. She said, no, you don't understand. He's destroyed the new one. <laughs> and I just started laughing. And I went, what do you mean, he's destroyed it? She said, well, it's bent and there's a heel mark on the cover. I said, how did that get there? She said, well, he threw it on the floor and jumped up and down on it. I said, well, why, what's, why, why has he destroyed the passport? She said, he hasn't approved the photograph. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to finish on that note. <laughs>